Satellite coming down in three, two, one. Ratch has started. 30 seconds on the clock. Scandi and versus Existence. Existence will take the mech side first. Scandi will take on the US side. Scandi has Luviet, Lars, Lelan, Pavladino, Spencer, Squid, Wor uh, Zorik, and Swizzlestick. Existence has M, Arctic, Breaker, Basa, Shivani, Emzon, Hayaz, and Round Trees, a random who I am told to be called Monkey. This is, of course, Gulf of Oman. Each team does get two transports right off the bat and a tank in their main base. There are no uncappable flags, and here we go. We will be following uh, Existence as they leave the construction site, although it looks like the camera will be on a uh, nice pixel down the alleyway. It's going to be from the tank side of Lars and the tank. For Scandi, and a very slow rollout. So far from existence. Are we not live? We might not be live. Not live. Okay. Good. F Restart live. Now we're live. Do I repeat myself? No. I'm not going to repeat myself. It's Gulf of Oman. You guys know what's going on. The league game. Yes, it is. Stop mocking. This comes in Scandi. This is, of course, week two of the Battlefield uh, Conquest League, the, the new season. We've got Gulf of Oman and Fushi Pass. Once again, your maps today. Scandi has the good Jeep spawn right off the bat. Lars not too far behind for the tank. The second Jeep going to go to the right. Meanwhile, Existence on the north. Going to drive that Jeep for as far down to the corner as it can. Breaker going to intercept. Jeep not going to pop. We'll be on fire. We're not on fire yet. Ayaz, first blood. Dropping the PP-19 kill onto, on the Zork along with the kill on the Swizzle Stick. Emzon following up with his own double kill onto Squid and Spencer. And the tank of Lars not really going anywhere. Kind of in the main. Existence pretty much have the kill feed with the exception of Lars finally taking a shot at, at Breaker. Existence... Pushing very, very heav heavily under the village flag right now. The flag will go up in favor of Scandi, though. And Existence not even going to cap the city flag. Not a problem, though. City flag, except, of course, you know, not having that fl that flag gray or captured isn't going to make you uh, cause your team to have a bleed on it. Existence still pounding very, very heavily into the village flag. We do see Roundtree's random going triple kill. Lelan, Spencer, and Swizzle, Swizzle Stick will get killed by the AK-101. Flag about halfway down so far. Artillery, our first for artillery of the round is going to fall onto M from Scandi side. So far, it looks like M is going to be able to back up, but his boxes will go down. And Scandi going to lose the village flag. Triple cap right now for Existence. Jeep gonna go for the left for Scandi. Looks like M is already notified of it. And he will intera interact up there. Lara's new tank up for him. Nice double kill from the hand grenade kill from Dispenser and Squid from Random. Lara's just behind the wall. It's the Jeep kill on the Breaker who did try to get around to the beachhead flag. Rockdead, if you're curious, Rockdeck, if you're curious in the chat, what uh, Battlefield games have ever had competitive Battlefield? Battlefield 19, the answer is 19. Battlefield 1942, Battlefield 2, Battlefield Vietnam 2142, Battlefield 3, 4, uh, Hardline, Bad Company 2, anything else, BF4, up, BF1, and BF5. They have all had competitive Battlefield with leagues to one extent or another, greater or lesser extent. The earlier games are the ones that are still surviving as far as their competitive communities go. And I'll be happy to explain more about that another time. Artillery falling onto Lars. Not taking too much damage. Once one rocket will hit. And actually Lars does almost, if he did not actually run over his teammate. Scandi, far right side by the gas station, pushing the city flag. Giovanni is here. Looks like he's by the fence line. Finds a double kill on Zorik and Squid. Just popping the single shot. Another kill! 
on the Zork as he gets the revive. Shivani reloads, comes back again. Hop in the, from the fence line. Does he get another? So far, Shivani holding 3v1 on this backside of the city flag. 4v1 now. Hayas will come in from behind, drop a few grenades. M is also here to help defend against Squid. We'll get the we'll take the uh, tank shot. I'm gonna take one shell. Shivani behind the fence. I mean, with Hayas from behind, this should be fine. Hayas actually finding the pistol kill. We'll not get the second one. Unfortunately, Zorik will get the kill on Ahaya, so he'll get the revive on his buddy. Artillery going to fall on the city flag right now, so that'll be a nice defense here for existence. As they still maintain the bleed, 188 to 160. City flag still being pressured. Unfortunately for Scandi, it's currently two medics against the tank, so... This push from... Uh... Scandi probably not going to go anywhere unless they can muster up a few more anti-tank players. Haya is probably going to get the kill, and he, he, he absolutely does on Spencer. And going to follow up with his own double kill onto Pavladino and Lelin. Scandi going to completely get wiped off the back flags. So the push will resume back towards the village flag as we do see uh, artillery going to fall from Lou yet. Does find the kill onto Armentry is random. I might need to restart my game, because it looks like everything is on absolute bare minimum settings, and I don't care for that at all. Lighting is fine, but this looks pretty dull. What if my game reset? Giovanni! Currently also finding another double kill. As the Jeep, looks like there was one. I saw Humvee going up. He's on the other side of the map. Going far to the right. As Scandi going to try to push into the village flag. Grenades going out. Boss is going to find an AK-101 kill on Pavladino. From the window side. Shivani. Shivani is just on fire this round. M's on from behind. Going to find the PP-19 kill on Pavladino. Hiding behind the tree line. And look at how far. Just right now. Scandi just being pushed so far back into their beach. Into the main of the beachhead. And Breaker, actually, for existence, ready with that respawn on the far right-hand side of the map. The Vodnik will go down, but he's still there in case anybody sneaks around. Speaking of which, M, going to intercept this tank, or if they intercept the tank, intercept the jeep going around. Breaker will get the kill on Delelan, who was the uh, driver, and try to get around. I think it's 178 to 131. Not necessarily the most one-sided game yet. This is still pretty standard. Good thing about Battlefield 2's ticket system is that at least in competitive, it goes very, very slowly, and there's plenty of opportunities for one team to get back into the game. Shivani, 1v1 against uh, along the sandbags. We'll get the kill on Dispenser. Scandi's a really resilient team. There's no reason why they can't come back out of this and they can't break out. Getting that tank down from M would be a really big start. At least they could break out one side or the other. Round tree random, aka Mr. Monkey. Sraw from behind from Lou Yet. And he will go down. Artillery gonna land, this time from skate from existence's side. Tank getting pressured, M gonna have to back off. That might open a open up a little bit of a you know. Lighten the pressure there for for Scandi to back out. Bossa fighting 2v1, 4v1, actually. Takes out uh, Zorik and Spencer. They'll get revived. Bossa will go down, but holding the line on his own. Now, five, six mana push here from Scandi towards the village flag. No other pushes anywhere out on the map. Though there is a player from existence, and it's going to be Breaker again. Bossa once again, double kill into Zorik. And Pavladino... Kill feed is entirely existence on the respawn, and they have completely wiped Scandi. That's a five to six man push that has been wiped. Oh my god, the interception from Breakers spawn there. Uh, Amazon got the spawn, picked up the rocket, got two. And the other two members of Scandi that were in there, Pavladino, nice double kill with the grenades. We'll get both Amazon and Breaker. Get the revive as well, but they don't have the jeep to get around anymore. They're just going to have to fight it out. Taking a look at the map once again. We have a couple people just from, from Scandi trying to swing around. They've been spotted by the commander. M knows he's going to intercept. 
New tank is up for Scandi. And Existence is going to push that right side along the beachhead. Tank will take one hit. That'll, that'll be a one shot for Lars. The, the uh, supply crate will also go down. Artillery hits dead on first shell. Finds a triple kill on the boss of Shivani and Hayaz. Arctic going to drop his own artillery. We'll get one kill on the squid, but not the cleanup that that, that Luyette got with that first shell. The real question is, can they kill M? M just took a rocket shot right there, and he's going to back up to the, to the safety of the supply crates behind the train. But really, that's really what Scandi needs. They need to take out M so they can just push up and not have to worry about the tank while they fight. Lars is here. M goes down. Lars puts puts a nice shell in between. Oh, actually, no. It looks like M was out of position. That's absolutely doable. Kill feed still, though. Going the way of, of existence, and they've killed the tank from behind. Breaker will get the rocket shot into it. There's three members of Scandi on the flag, and now they're in the hut. Breaker throws one through. Second double kill. Pavladino gets shot through the window with a rocket, and Swizzle Stick gets shot through the window with a PP-19. And there actually might be some... There actually was a Jeep that got around from Scandi. They're in the main now. That's why Breaker did the redeploy. Scandi gonna push the main. Squad bombs here. Round three random along with Arctic here. Grenade, possibly good. Nope, they move out of position. Arctic, TK with the... <laughs> With the C5, or the C5, C4, I've been playing too, eight, too much 2042. And it looks like that push has been cleaned up. Getting close to that 100 ticket advantage for existence right now. The bleed's been going on for about, you know, almost 10 minutes. As we're a little more over halfway of the, through the round. Scandi now going to make another push towards the village flag. Or are they going to bypass it? Amazon. Oh my god, they have a tank steal too. Existence with the U.S. tank. There was a tank steal. So right now, Scandi currently don't have a tank in their main. Both tanks are up. As you can see, Emzen will be tanking along with the, uh, with M. With the, excuse me, Emzen will be taking, taking, taking the stolen tank. M will be in their main tank. And that's really, really hard. You'll see that they do a 9-3 uh, split to make sure that no jeeps get through from Scandi's side. And they're just going to tighten the pincer here. More grenades coming out as the beachhead flag is going to be pressed. Hayao's hand grenade kill into Zork. And Scandi just trying to survive now. They've lost their tank. And the contain will continue. Arctic artillery going to land right on top of several members. Four players of Scandi in the main. Lars, Squid, Spencer, and Zork going to get obliterated by the artillery strike. And Shivani will find one on the Pavladino, so that's a five-man wipe there. A few members from Scandi looks like they're going to the right side. One of the tanks is there to already intercept. No follow-up from, from existence to take the flag. They're just going to try to bleed it out. There's no reason to push in. Boss, a double hand grenade killing a swizzle stick in Lars. Our five's coming in. Here they go. Random going to push in. Boss on the low ground. Random one kill onto Swizzle Stick, followed by a second onto, onto uh, Squid. Third onto Zorik, in flag radius. M also in flag radius in the tank. Flag, nearly halfway down. A cap attempt going in. Artillery gonna start going up from Scandi. Breaker steals the Vodnik from behind. On the respawn point, one, two, three, four kills onto Scandi. The flag is about to go gray and it's gone. Artillery's gonna land from Lu Yap, but the team has been wiped. It's just Lu Yet, wherever he is. Doesn't even matter. Double kill for Lu Yet. He'll, he'll die to Shivani. This is GG. I think it's 137-0. We, we have the first cap out of the match.
And Existence will take round number one. Some excellent pressure from Existence. Taking a look at the kill feed here, M going 18 and 1, only dying in that tank once, and I believe it was just at the very end. Round trees random, Mr. Monkey himself, almost 30 to 30, uh, 3 to 1. Crazy 29 kills. That is a massive amount. Bossa and Shivani also doing really well on the Scandi side. Looks like Pavladina picked up the kill lead. Lars had a much more difficult time. As long as that tank was up, he just had a really hard time pushing. The cohesion of existence this season so far has been magnificent. So now we'll get a team swap on round number two of Gulf of Oman. And I really, really hope I don't have to switch teams. I need to get rid of that thing. Did they restart? They did. Good. Okay, so we're in round number two. It looks like we are live. Tank going out right now. Scandi with a really, really good tank spawn. They're going to make their way up. We'll see what exists, or, uh, excuse me, existence with a really good tank spawn. Gandy, Swizzle Stick gets popped immediately by M as he tries to cross. Meanwhile, Lars, his own difficulties, gets shot once by M. M is just one of the best tankers in the league. Far, far and away, one of the best tankers left in Battlefield 2. But, oh, Breaker will get behind with the Jeep. Humvee will swing around for existence. Never mind. Never it's their own side. I'm lost. But it will survive. It looks like he tried to do a turnaround on the tank. Shot from the Hars and the, onto the Humvee of Vasa will take him out. And this tank is in some serious trouble. We'll make it back out. Battle over the train gonna commence. Got grenades from both teams. Hyaz finds the double into Lelan and Zorik. Spencer gets the kill in around round, round trees random. Both teams even. Two flags to two. Haha. <laughs> Zorik tried to get up, to, up on top of the train car. Gets popped immediately by Hayaz. Artillery landing on top of M in the tank in an vain attempt just to try to get the one lucky shot on it. At the very least, it'll get rid of his supply boxes. And existence really pressuring really quickly. Breaker tried to take a uh, jeep toward the city flag. Lars already there. Currently needs to repair his tank. A little bit smoky. And it looks like there might be a redeploy here. Actually, is there anything going on on the beachhead? There is. Massive push from Scandi. Redeploy out. Five. Five players from Scandi now re oh, Look at the... Oh. Okay, M goes down in the tank. Existence, well aware of it, respawns most of the team and gets the call. Round trees random, double hand grenade kill into Zurich and Squid. There's a nice pickup considering the push. And that, look how effective and efficient Existence is at just wiping that push. The call was made and half the team came back. And... <laughs> And the follow-up push here is going to be amazing from Existence, too. They stopped what they were doing. The squad lead up here, which was going to be Basa, held position the whole time. Now the artillery piece will blow. And now that the push, now that the, the, the main base aggression has ended, they're going to make the push to the construction site. Which is exactly what they wanted to do in the first place. Amazon. Looks like he's going to solo push. Well, he was going to solo push the city flag. Squid's going to shut that down. And the push will continue now. To the construction site where Shivani's going to climb up the hill after taking out Lelan. But I don't think there's a squad leader here anymore. Looks like uh, Bossa got taken out. So now, back to the deployment screen we go. Resets on both teams. We still have one in the main. It's going to be Shivani. I'm not sure there's going to be much that's going to happen here. Yeah, he tries to go for the shot onto on the, on the squid. It's, squid will get the kill. Back to the train yard. Uh, 
High House Lob and Nades gets the revive and a breaker. And a new Jeep actually going to swing all the way around. Lars here in the tank. Random will find the one kill on the swizzle stick. And Existence going to get on a flag. Pavladino, noob tube onto Random. Gets the second kill onto Shivani. Meanwhile, M cleaning house on the village flag. That'll be wiping up any members of Scandi there. But this defensive play looks on the, on the construction site looks to have held. Scandia right now playing defensively. It looks like we do have Swizzle Stick bringing up the Vodnik to the fence. Finds a double kill onto Round Freeze Random and High Oz. Meanwhile, M going to back up a little bit towards the beachhead. A much more balanced game so far in round number two of Oman. I'm going to eat two rockets so far. Maybe two tank shells. And get, go to his supply boxes. Engagement along the train tracks as both Jeeps going to engage each other immediately. Squid will find a double kill into Shivani and, and Hayaz. Somebody else got back into the Vodnik. That pops really quick. Glad he got out. Existence just manhandle every single fight. The respawns are so good. Like it's one, it's two v two, you know, for a quick second, or it's one v one for a quick second, and then suddenly the team gets, makes the call out, and there's an extra two to three players that are just respawn on the squad leader. Vasa nearly dies to that grenade. Rockets gonna go try to go out. Squad leader still alive. It looks like Breaker actually got hand grenaded by Swizzle Stick, so that'll be the end of that squad lead push. We'll see if they drop to the next player. Existence mounting an attack on the city. Ayaz on flag. Amazon gonna swing around the corner. Lars, or excuse me, M also on flag. Lars backing up. Artillery's gonna land practically on top of the tank, but looks like he lucked out and didn't get hit by it. Flag is going to go gray. Halfway up for now for in favor of existence. As Lars will eat two rockets, not going to be the kill though. Lou yet drops his own artillery on round trees random. TK's Pavladino on the last one. City flag will remain gray, now being recaptured by Scandi. And another push coming around from behind for existence while Scandi trying to back M off of this flag. M, I love. Okay. So this play is actually really awesome. So there's no risk in losing this tank from M, right? But he's pulling so many members of Scandi here instead of pulling instead of letting them respawn back at the main. There's a huge play by M. And Boss will or excuse me, Breaker will get killed in the back. Existence is pushed to the construction site, did go down, and we are back to a 2-2 flag split. Existence going to walk their way across the train tracks right now. Three, four, four infantry. Three of them AT. They really want to kill the tank. One jeep will go down immediately. Yeah, my draw distance is really low. It's kind of crazy. I'll get that felt, uh, fixed after the end of the round. Artillery will land, this time from Scandi, trying to clear out the few members of Existence. So far, Artillery's not going to hit anything, and it looks like Hayes is going to luck out on the rooftop. Existence, all pressure, going to make another push towards the construction site. M, probably going to push towards the uh, city flag. And speaking of which, there's the next Artillery going to be on top of the tank, although Lara's going to back up really quickly. Fasa, double hand grenade kill into... Pavladino and Swizzle Stick. Swizzle Stick, of course, an amazing name and fun word to say. Infantry fight in the main. Round freeze ram random, gonna get killed by Pavladino. And that push, gonna get cleaned up. God. This existence uh, push to the main has, con has consistently been de just denied multiple times. Artillery now gonna go out on existence. 
Once again, they're making the push. M, gonna back off the flag immediately. Tank needs one more shell to fall. Lu Yet will find two. Run, one on round trees random, and one on Shivani. M will go down to the tank. Lu Yet gonna find the third onto Emzon. The flag will be successfully held again by Scandi. Nine minutes into round number two. Tickets 147 to 133 in favor of existence. Existence pretty much on the mark here for uh, taking the ra taking the map win. As they map uh, took map round number one by 136 to zero. Scandi gonna push in. Bodnik straight to the flag. Scandi on flags radius. Only one infantry here. Respawn out. Shivani. That's random. Dropping the grenades. Zorik and Swizzlestick get trapped in the room with grenades, and that's the last place you want to be. But the attempt was made. Lelin playing the five Ds of dodgeball, unfortunately unable to uh, survive. Squid killing Shivani. Breaker back in the Humvee. Finds one, finds a second on the Squid. Scandi just can't seem to make anything happen here. Ayaz, hand grenade killing to Zurich as they try to defend the main. Scandi will try to make a push towards the beachhead. It's just Hayaz here against two. Tank, the new tank uh, from M has also arrived. So that'll be pretty much make this impossible to push. Taking a look at the mini-map in the top right, though, we do see also, at the same time, Existence trying to push towards the construction site with pretty much most of their team. They've got one on top of the city flag. There's no defenders there from Scandi. If we just keep an eye out, see what's going on up there. City flag will go gray. And Scandi, amazingly, has continued to stay alive here this whole time. High us in the gatehouse. While the tank is watching him, M will kill Pavlodino, Zurek will go down to Hyas as he tries to climb the ladder, and that will be the end of that push towards the main for, Sc or for Scandi. And speaking of the end for Scandi, Lars just died in the tank to Emzon. Roundtree's random also probably got a shot into it as they are both AT. Huge counterplay coming in from Scandi as they wiped off the push towards the construction site. Emzon, straw, point blank on Zurich. Zorik. Spencer. Finds one on Emzon. We'll get the second on round trees at random. Oh, Arctic! We'll find one. We'll find the perfect shot on the Spencer. He tried to jam his head into the wall to try to prevent the damage. Free flag hold. Currently for existence. They're going to start the bleed to get up against Scandi. Scandi still not able to make a push happen. They've tried multiple times for both the beachhead and the village flag. Currently with the city flag down, it's going to be even tougher. Triple respawns go out towards the city flag. Vasa there, 3v1. Vasa unable to beat the, beat the horde. M shows up. Finds one, finds two, finds three. It doesn't even matter. He'll back off, taking a few hits from Lars on the way out. Tank on each side of the fence line. M was weak. Gonna get his supply boxes. Wow, both commanders on the queue. Both teams gonna get... Or, wow, both teams got the supply crate at the same time. Shot from the... Uh, tank onto the supply crate. Lars isn't going to be able to repair, but it doesn't matter. They did manage to take up the tank instead. Great play from Scandi there, taking the tank out. They will get the city flag back. 
New push coming in from Existence. First straw barely misses Hyas. We'll get the next one, and this tank should be dead as long as the corner side gets owned. Last shot from Hyas, we'll get the tank kill into Lars. Tank will be down for the next 20 seconds. Hyas, man, also do kick, uh, doing work. Existence. Pushing towards the city flag again. Scandy is also dropping on artillery currently on the... Uh, the village flag. This would have been a much better artillery save for the for the city. Because unless you magically get M here with this artillery strike, and I don't think it's going to happen. No. Meanwhile, Roundtree's random binds a triple kill, quadruple kill actually, according to that kill feed. Blue Yat following up. Triple kill onto existence, but they've already lost the flag. M. One shot into Lars. And Lars doesn't get anything for it. Ayaz finds another. All M needs is one follow-up shot to kill the tank. Never mind. Amazon will get it. Existence. Just w seemingly winning every single infantry fight. And it's not like Scandi are bad players. They're excellent. Two versus two over the over, over the artillery hill. Squid gonna find both members of of existence. Breaker and Shivani. And Lars, you hear the tank explosion. We'll go down again. It looks like M got the perfect angle for him. And perfect angle as well, so you can watch the street. Artillery launching from Scandi, not quite sure where it's going to land. Probably close to where M is. They can get the tank. Yep, that's going to land right on the tank. At least it'll get the box. Hopefully get the box. M. Going to get chased down by Lars. And plenty of... Wow! I was going to say plenty of members of existence from behind the tank. Maybe one had that feature, but it really looked like M may just made the critical shot. And once again, identify proving why he's, well, he's one of the, just one of the best tankers in the league. Three minutes left in the round. Fifty-four tickets left for Scandi. No way to claim the map, but you could still have a round win and decrease the total ticket win value. And Lars gonna go down again. Artillery going to fall from existence, this time on top of the construction site. Looking for the commander. Arctic will find Swizzle Sick or, and Lelin with the artillery. Scandi not quite on flag, but oh, here comes the tank steal. Ayaz, waiting for it. Gonna get it. One shot into the tank. Hops the smoke, gets out. And he will. Oh, he won't! Coordination on the way out from Scandi as they bring the tank down with four rockets. Final two minutes, 97 to 35. Scandi down nearly 60 something tickets, 65 tickets. And existence still pressuring the main, even though the squad leader just got taken out. M on flag radius, gonna pressure even more. Finds two kills, why not Spencer? Now third. Zork and Squid will also follow. Lars gonna come up behind M. Maybe. <laughs> Can't get past the tree. Vodnik being the barrier. Round trees random will spawn on M. Both tanks. M gonna be the one to fall first though. Lars will survive by the skin of his teeth as the other members of Scandi come in to help. The 
He'll get taken out by Emzon, who's on the rooftop. Scandy, one, two, three on the rooftop, now four. Definitely possible to get that tank steal again. Somebody from Scandy trying to climb up the rooftop. Oh, the ladder, that's not going to work out. Oh, nice shot from Emzon on the dispenser. And once again, that kill feed is just all existence all the time. Giovanni will steal the tank again. Not that it matters at this point. But that's just one more asset that Andy doesn't have. 30 seconds on the clock. Seven tickets. I think the tickets will just end before the clock. Nice artillery. Gets the TK though, unfortunately, onto M. And there's the kill feed. Emzon finds a double straw one after another on the Swizzle Sick and Spencer's. Clock runs out. 84 ticket to zero for round number two of Oman. So Scandi will pick up map number one and decide it in, in pretty spectacular fashion here. And we'll head over to uh, Fushi Pass for round number two. Map number two. M this time, once again, 38 and 6, doing everything right. Being that kill leader. Round tree's random. Pretty crazy infantry play for him this round. Squid also playing really well. Squid, Spencer. A lot of, this, the kill differential is kind of crazy. And all right, Fushi Pass will be map number two. Yes, I thought it does. I'll figure that one out later. 30 seconds on the clock. East mine entrance, west mine entrance, center island. Three flag map is Fushi Pass. Each team goes to get two transports in the main along with one LAV, APC, and one tank. Center island going to be the main point of contention, but Fushi Pass is definitely known for very, very quick base camps and uh, main base attacking. So we can't wait to see. It looks like we're going to have uh, uh, Existence start on the U.S. side. China side will be a uh, Scandi. Horrible spawn here for Breaker. Not the greatest spawn. Wow. Breaker and Arctic. Wow. This is a horrible opening for, for Existence right now. It's probably going to be M that goes down towards the center. And it's not. They're not going to do that either. They might be giving up the center. Oh, well, they, they walked it. Okay. Armor spawns extremely low for existence. Tank on the high ground. They did walk there. They jumped. They jumped over there. The center island really fists fast. <laughs> Gravity can't speak right now. Center island immediately taken by by existence. Scandi gonna make a huge push to the main. Arctic double kill into Pavladino and Zurich already as he draws first blood. Arctic one shot misses the second against him. Arctic will get the shot onto Squid, but there's still more infantry swinging around back, and they've actually... Is he going to get around? Another shot into the... Oh, Arctic! TK Shivani! Big accident right there from Arctic. Arctic going to try to hug M. M, back up a little bit into him. Still infantry in the East Mine entrance. And it is the squad leader, too. Scandi going to make a push towards the main. They need a lot more AT. M eats one rocket shot. Not going to be enough. Gets the kill onto Zurich. Zurich? I keep wanting to call him Zurich, like, Switzer so like uh, Switzerland. I'm going to hop on the point. Plenty of infantry here. Arctic also back over here now. Wow, that was a point-blank straw into the uh, into nothingness. That was an easy shot onto the tank that could have probably killed M with the combined uh, rocket shot there. Arctic also not going to get... Whoa, maybe that one did hit. Ground trees random. In the area. Swings behind. Finds one kill on dispenser. Existence. Oh, M's on. Dropping the artillery. He's, he'll be commanding this round. It's a double kill. Or find one, finds one kill on the high house's teammate. Arctic going to get killed by the artillery of Lu Yet, who also drops it in the same area. Scandi going to use the attention on the main to uh, drop more infantry into the... Whoa! Double shots into Lelin. 
who gets popped. Lars on the high ground, gonna defend the infantry as Scandi gonna take the center island flag. L Basa up on the high ground, we'll drop a, <laughs> a rocket in the Spencer's face. But looks like Scandi will end up getting the center island flag and uh, start getting that ticket bleed back. Center Island Flag, of course, does have a U.S. advantage to it, as M in the tank or the APC really could just sit down here on this on this corner and watch anybody that tries to counter cap. So dealing with the tank is a huge priority for Scandi right now. It is on fire. Lars does have the high ground advantage. You can see kind of where M kind of peeks out. You can get that shot. Nice clear lane for Lars as well. You just can't see into the flag radius. Scandi looking to defend. Basa jumps around the corner, dives down, gets Zork. M now fully repaired, and of course, as I say that, he gets one hit. Double artillery from both teams. That's a much better looking artillery than it was last map. I would say those settings are working. Rather than just the puffs of dust they were. Lars continuing to defend against the uh, center island push from scan from existence. Round three random will die. And there's more infantry from Scandi in the main. East management. Looks like the uh, artillery or the uh, Arctic did get the LAV again. Breaker gonna flank against uh, Lars. Oh my god, a bubble bu bullseye. Lars gets triple shot, immediately goes down. And Existence will probably push towards the island flag now. 